So the other day, ClickFunnels came out with a new UI. Let me move this back down here. I know it's going to cause problems. So you, ClickFunnels came out with a new UI, and some people absolutely hate it. And I said, I've got hundreds of files. I absolutely love the way it works. And so Susan suggested that I shoot a quick video for the group. And so I'll go through a lot of what you can do and the reasons why I love it. Now, for me, I have, let's scroll all the way down here to the bottom. I have 622 funnels. And in the past, although I would put funnels into groups, what it would do is it break that group up across multiple pages. So page one might have 10 items from a group and then page two would have another 10 and I would have to search all over the place to try to find something. And the, they had two different search menus. The one that was here was really bad. This one here was a little bit better, but if you type in something like members, I'm going to have all kinds of uh, funnels that are membership, this membership, that you only get to see three of them. Well, three of them doesn't really do me much good most of the time. So I like the way this is set up a lot better. So let's go back down here to the bottom. And down here, you can change the number you're going to see per page. I had it 96. We'll just flip it over to 24 real quick. And then you also have some pagination across the bottom here. And we can just click on this. It'll take us to the very last page of all the funnels that we have. And so it's an easier way to just zip through all of them and here we're looking at all of our active funnels and we could also click on here and go and look at all of our archived funnels so here's all that there you of course can unarchive it at that point and we'll go back to all the funnels and then over here on the very far right we have now our list view showing but now we can also click here and go to card view. And when I clicked on it the first time, they said there was going to be a bunch more information being put into the card view here. So inside the card view or anywhere else, you can click on the star to make it one of your favorite funnels. And I'll show you a little more about that in a second. But then also you got your three dots here and whether you got the three dots here or on the list view, let's just jump back to the list view real quick. Um, those three dots gives you four options and you can click on this and you can click on funnel URL and it's going to open up a box here and you can copy out that funnel URL. In the past, you would have to go into the funnel and then grab the URL for there. That would be the, the URL for the first page of the funnel. Actually, this, this is actually probably the higher level one, which I wouldn't necessarily use this in a lot of cases, but it can get you there really quickly. The other thing is you can click right here, and let me hold down the control, and it's going to take us directly straight away to the first page in that funnel. So if you're actually giving somebody... Uh, your funnel URL, this is the quickest way to get there and come up there and copy this URL instead of using this one right here. I would come in and give them that URL if you want to send them to the very first page in your funnel. So let's click out of there. Let's open this back up again. So again, you can uh, click on this here. It'll make it your favorite. You could also click on the star right there to make it a favorite. And here again, you can duplicate this entire funnel. I don't even know if they had the functionality. You can duplicate pages in the past, but I don't know if they had the functionality to duplicate a funnel. So I think that's something brand new. And then again, from right here, you can archive it from this page. Whereas in the past, you had to go into the funnel, go to settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom and archive it there. So this saves you three, four, five steps. And especially if you got a whole bunch of funnels you want to archive real quick, you can just come in here and boom, 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 and archive them all in a matter of seconds where it would have taken you hours otherwise because you had to go into every one of the funnels. Now up here at the top, you can, well, it tells you what your plan is right there, but you can uh, build a new funnel. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up the funnel cookbook page right here. But then over the top, it's going to show us the old builder. Now, when I build most of the times, I just click on this here, create a custom funnel and do it from there. But, um, you know, if you want to do the old method here or the cookbook method, you just come in and you just start clicking on things. So I want to make a retail one and you go through and then you can go back to the classic funnel builder right there. If you so choose, let me go back into the list of all of our funnels. And now here becomes the best part of all, which is the search feature. So we can, well, and even before we do that, we can have here sorting as well, which you could not have in the past. So here you can sort by your funnel name. So we can go up here, do some sort of a search, but then you can also come down here and sort them alphabetically 
either A to Z or Z to A, and uh, however you would like to do that. And then also here, you can click on last updated. So the funnels you worked on most recently can be coming up to the top of your list. This one here says 18 days ago, which I would guess is going to be the default for all of them. Yeah, so here's now seven minutes ago. So if I only want to see the funnels I worked on in the last couple of days, boom, click on that, and they're going to all be right here in front of you. So you're always going to have your most recent funnels at the top. And then we can come in here and we can click on where it says all. And you can show all of your funnels like we are in all view right now, or we can show only the ones that I favorited by giving them the little gold star. So here we have my favorite funnels. And then we can also go down here and sort them by group tags. So let's just go and let's just say we're going to go into my CF hacks group. And so now it should refresh and pull up all of my, my uh, funnels that I have in that group. And then we can also see here last updated, or we can come over here and sort them alphabetically if you got a whole bunch in that group and you're going to have trouble finding them. And then the last thing we can do, let's set this back to all. And here you can, you can search here. What this search does is it searches by your group name. So you, if you got a whole bunch of groups like I do, you may just want to come in here and I could type in member. And then we got three different groups of uh, that start with the term member, but let's put that back. We'll leave this at all. But then here is really the nicest part is I can search all of my funnels by keywords as well. I'll just put in the word member again, and it populated because I have tested this yesterday by typing in the word member and the word membership. Uh, so we'll just click on member. And, oh, and then we got to click on search here. And then it's going to pull up every single funnel I have that has the word member in it. And I'm looking here real quick. Um, I think actually these are, yeah, this is actually showing what the page is even. So this isn't necessarily the name of the funnel. This is the name of the funnel page, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to do a little bit more research on that, but I'm pretty sure that this is the name of the actual funnel page. And again, we have them sorted alphabetically, or we can sort them by the last date I worked on any of them. So I think it gives you a lot more ability to be able to go in and search out and sort and find and, and again, this, the speed here of just being able to duplicate something and archive it right from this page, being able to go directly to the URL from this page, I think those are great time savers. And so after I worked with it for about five or 10 minutes, I said, yeah, I really like this. This is a huge improvement over their last UI. So if you got any questions, let me know.